Hi there, my name is Good Guy Mike. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another quick and dirty tutorial today on how to make mortar. So, as you progress in this game, you're going to want to make bigger and better buildings, such as this bloomery, which will allow me to smelt a lot more metal a lot quicker. So, to do that though, you're going to need mortar. Mortar is made with a combination of flux, stone, and sand, okay? Now, flux is just found by combining your herbs, as I showed in a previous video. Sand, however, is found next to beaches. So if you go to your map and click M, this gr this tan all around the beach is all sand. All you need to do is go up to it, lower ground level, and you'll get sand in your inventory, similar to how you get clay. All right, once you get that, and then the stone, which is just found in a mine or mine from the side of a mountain, once you have your three ingredients, okay, you're going to add them in a kiln. All right, to make one recipe, all right, you're going to use one flux, okay, so I've, I'm, I'm quadrupling the recipe, okay, so if I wanted to make one recipe, I would add one flux, two stone, and ten sand. Alright, that is the recipe. Now this recipe makes five mortar. I need 20 mortar for my bloomery, so I'm gonna go ahead throw in all this stuff because I'm quadrupling it and I'm just gonna use the billows. Now you can use charcoal in the kiln, that's what I would suggest. Once all three of these objects have heated up to the maximum point, then you can go ahead and pull them out just like you would charcoal. Alright, I'll bring you back in for that. Alright, so as you can see, my flux, stone, and sand have all reached that perfect point where they're hot enough for me to pull them out of the kiln. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click pull out, not glass blowing, because we don't want to accidentally make our sand into glass. But pull out, click mortar, and select. And just like that, your character will go through another, another crafting animation. And like that, you have five mortar in your inventory. Now I'm going to continue to pull out the rest of the stuff here so that I don't lose any of it or the kiln doesn't cool down before I get it all out. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know by leaving a comment or a like. Anyways, if there's anything that you guys need some help with, let me know about that, and I will try my best to get a video out in the next couple days. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe. All tells me out. You guys, keep being good, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Hey guys, this has been a quick and dirty tutorial for Life is Feudal. If you enjoyed this, then let him know by leaving a like, favorite, subscribe, or commenting and asking what you want in the next tutorial. Anyways, thanks for sticking around, guys. Go ahead and check out the actual series, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.